Hey, that was the same night we got engaged. <laughs> I came out of hospital with a bandage on my head and a ring on my finger. Do you remember? No. <laughs> oh, that's charming, that is. Can we talk? I've been chatting to Anna about this whole thing of what to do about exes. That's a worry. I've always assumed that Anna's exes were stuffed and mounted in a display cabinet. She gave me some advice. Go on. She said she thinks that temptation can be a dangerous thing in a marriage and that it should be avoided at all costs. Right. So do you know what I think we should do? What? I think we should do the exact opposite of what Anna would do. <laughs> what, you're going to actually attach a pair of testicles to me? <laughs> I don't ever want us to end up like Toby and Anna Lee. Of course you should stay in touch with Karen. In fact, I think I should invite her back here. I think I made a bad impression last time. May I come across as prickly? She didn't notice. Oh, so I did come across as prickly? Of course not. More like a battle axe. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I was putting on a stupid act last time. I need to show her the real me. I am what I am. Please don't tell her you need to show her the real you and then sing I am what I am. <laughs> it might just confuse things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that was lovely. They <gasps> say, I am stuffed. Oh, they're spotted dick and custard for pudding. Uh, or I'd like to dessert of panna cotta, if you prefer. Panna cotta? You can't get that in Shirley. <laughs> you can, you go to the shop. <laughs> right, it's very nice of you to have me back. Especially after I took the mick out your husband so much. <laughs> That's why I wanted you back. It's hard work mocking him by myself all these years. <laughs> has he uh, ever told you about the perm? I don't believe he has. It wasn't a perm, it was a demi-wave. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame there aren't any photographs, so I could show you what an absolute pillock he looked. <laughs> oh, hang on, wait oh. a minute, there is. <laughs> oh. He wanted to look like that bloke off in excess. <laughs> oh my God, he looks more like Steffi Graf. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not the one who tried to pierce my own ears with a staple gun. Ouch. Oh, God, yeah. I ended up in casualty. <sighs> hey, that was the same night we got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> I came out of hospital with a bandage on my head and a ring on my finger. Do you remember? No. <laughs> oh, that's charming, that is. We never got engaged, Karen. Y yes, we did. You put one of those old-fashioned ring pulls off a Diet Coke on my finger. See? We were just messing. I wore it for a whole year. What am I like? <laughs> Is that rhetorical? <laughs> you got down on one knee. I really don't remember any of this at all. Yes, you do. You got all weepy in A&E, and then you said you'd come so close to losing me that you wanted to hold on to me forever. <laughs> you soppy twat. <laughs> yeah, me, you silly old cat. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. I am killing him. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me with something to do. <laughs> Did you set a date? Book a church? It wasn't a big deal. Oh, just a registry office then. Were it just clothes fettlers and a bit of bread and dripping? Oh, I'd forgotten all about it. Oh, I see. Any other engagements you'd forgotten all about? Perhaps a couple of actual marriages that have slipped your mind. <laughs> it was a stupid, silly thing. It wasn't real. It didn't mean anything. Getting engaged didn't mean anything. I wish I'd known that when you proposed to me. That was different. Me and you actually ended up getting married, unlike me and Karen. Yeah, why was that? What? Who finished with who? I can't remember. Oh, I see. She dumped you. I was second choice. Oh, get a grip. Of course you weren't second choice. Yes, I was. Only in terms of order, like Kim Jong-il coming before Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Strike that. Let me try again. Just think how much better life could have been if Karen had said yes. No, it wouldn't. I meant for me. <laughs> so I'm not a cartoon character. My name isn't Bill. And I'm not known for wearing a hat. I'm all out of questions here. <laughs> we haven't got all year. Well, technically, of course, we have. <laughs> because, well, you know, it's 40 minutes to midnight on New Year's Eve. Thanks for the anal observation. <laughs> that reminds me, come and play a Twister next. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you like? 
like Frank. Isn't he awful, Jeffrey? Yes, he's absolutely appalling. <laughs> Come on, Lee, we're supposed to be entertaining our guests. Oh, it's fine, Lucy. I mean, yes, Toby did turn down an invitation to a sonny lumiere at Hampton Court, but I'd much rather spend New Year's Eve watching Lee guess what's glued to his forehead. <laughs> yes, don't worry on our account, Lucy. It's been a difficult year not being able to spend time with friends and family. It takes a moment like this to make you realise lockdown wasn't really all that tedious after all. Maybe each person gets one clue. I don't think giving clues is in the rules. It's just a proposal. No one has to agree. I wish I'd thought of that 20 years ago. <laughs> Would giving clues matter if it really speeds things up? I don't know. Would it really matter to the World Chess Championships if they suddenly suspended the en passant rule? <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry. Me and Lee's mum used to always bicker like this. Yeah, that's what ended the marriage in the end. Huge drunken rows about the en passant rule. <laughs> OK, one clue it is. Seeing as I set yours for you, Lee, I'll give you your clue. You've got eight letters. Snow White's postman. <laughs> no. Frank's turn. Right. What country am I from? It's yes or no questions only, I'm afraid. All right. Yes or no, what country am I from? <laughs> Here's your clue. Your name is also Cockney rhyming slang. Brad Pitt. <laughs> you know, as in I'm going for a... No! <laughs> Eartha Kitt. It doesn't rhyme with Pitt. Dickie Bird, Douglas Hurd. <laughs> Good God. You just got that! Brad Pitt! <laughs> <laughs> Brahms and Liszt. Your turn, Dad. <laughs> he hasn't got a chance. Your clue is you're an American pop singer. <laughs> Tony Bennett, um... Harry Como... <laughs> I'll go for Taylor Swift. <laughs> what? Taylor Swift. Well done, Dad. Well, he must have cheated. Oh, and how exactly did I do that? You saw it reflected in that mirror. What, oh, you mean the, uh, the mirror hanging up above the, the bowl of sour grapes? <laughs> Nobby Styles. You know, sour grapes. I thought I was Nobby Styles. Piles. <laughs> At Hampton Court, they'll be bringing the canopies around now. I could be getting lost in the maze. Alone. <laughs> Come on, admit it. You saw it. Don't accuse Dad of cheating, Lee. He's never even heard of Taylor Swift. Of course I've heard of him. <laughs> Taylor Swift's a woman. Well, it's so hard to tell nowadays. <laughs> OK, then, name one Taylor Swift song. I don't need to be cross-examined by you to prove my integrity. One of her less successful singles. <laughs> Lee, stop it. Of course he's heard of her. No, he hasn't. That's the whole reason I chose Taylor Swift for him in the first place. Well, isn't this jolly? Perhaps New York next year. We can go wherever you like. We? <laughs> so you cheated? That's not cheating. That's just embracing the fun by making life as difficult as possible for you. Did you steal that line from our marriage vows? <laughs> well done. Dad's the winner. And as a prize, you get the final chocolate in the box. Uh, not for me, thanks. <laughs> or me either, apparently. That was my Christmas present from the kids. Exactly, from the kids, which means I bought them. <laughs> Why did you make me Cruella de Vil? Perhaps he couldn't spell Goebbels. <laughs> you love that film. I was trying to help you. By suggesting I kill puppies and use their skins as a coat. Is that how you see me? Of course not. Yeah, he knows you wouldn't bother killing them first. <laughs> You made me Steve Davis, a man who was so boring they nicknamed him interesting. Only because you love snooker? If I was trying to encapsulate your personality, I'd have left the paper blank. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Anna, why are you such a meanie to Toby? It's not his fault. Not everyone was born to be sexy and charismatic. <laughs> I know she's blind drunk, but she can see I'm here, right? <laughs> I am not drunk. 
Now, where's my bloody clue? The game's over, Mum. No, no, no. Just give her one. Don't. <laughs> I wasn't about to make a lewd remark, actually. You're married to a man with a metal piercing through his genitals. Yes, but what's my clue? <laughs> Thanks for the lift. No, it's OK. It's good to get out of the house. Hannah's got a personal trainer, and I worry if I don't leave them alone, they might not have an affair. <laughs> oh, good. My new smartphone's arrived. It's a bit big, isn't it? Who did you buy it from? Dom Jolly. <laughs> Typical. Apple have changed the headphone socket again. What the hell is that? Yeah, I know what that is. What? Don't worry. I'm a doctor. So? It's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, can you give me a clue? OK. It is actually something to be ashamed of. <laughs> it's a penis enlarger. <laughs> Pardon? Would you like me to shout it again? <laughs> well, I didn't order this. It's none of my business. I'm telling you, I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was a hamster run. You wouldn't put a hamster in there. It'll end up the size of a rabbit. <laughs> you seem to know a lot about these things. Oh, yes. How very embarrassing for me. You're just a man who ordered one to be delivered to his house. <laughs> I ordered a phone. Fair enough. Maybe it's like when a cardo substitute an item. I'm sorry, we're out of Satsumas, so we have replaced them with a penis enlargement pump. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did not order this thing. Then who did? Huh. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> What's this? Is it a Hubble bubble? What? You know, one of those things you see people smoking outside Turkish restaurants? I'd say if there's smoke coming out, it's probably best to stop using it. <laughs> what is it? It's a penis enlarger. Is it? You don't need one of those, Lee. That was a very long pause. <laughs> oh, my God! You didn't open that package, did you? Were you saving it for his birthday? <laughs> Read the label! Monster Max 3 Big Boy Masculinity Enhancer. With a dress label. Mr S. Crookshank, number 27. Oh. It's for the bloke across the road, you idiot. He wasn't in, so the delivery guy asked to leave it here. I was going to take it across to him later. Well, let's just repackage it. We can't do that. It's got the name of the delivery company on and everything. It even had a seal. Now he's going to know that we've seen... that. Well, at least now you've got quite the icebreaker. <laughs> Good idea. Play naive and say you think it's for breaking ice. I'm not telling him anything. You are. You opened it. Well, I can't give it to him. I don't know him. I don't even know what he looks like. Oh, you can't miss him. He lives across the road and has a very small penis. <laughs> Look, his car's back. Off you go. Oh, why can't you just do it? Because he is the man who moved in six months ago with his young family, Lee. The man who I see in the school playground pretty much every day and who I still properly haven't said hello to. So until Mumsnet do a discussion on how to overcome the social awkwardness of passing over penis enlargers, I'm stumped. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to say to him? This is your problem, mister. You deal with it. It's a bit blunt. What about <laughs> it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean? <laughs> there is no way I am taking this to him. Well, someone's got to. Hi. <laughs> I've got an idea. Kids! Don't you dare. Sort it out now. I'm Lee from across the road. Uh, oh, right. I've been meaning to say hello since we moved in. <laughs> Me too. How long is it now? I mean, since you moved in? <laughs> Six months. <laughs> oh, OK. Good. Settling in all right? 
Oh, you know, usual stresses. <laughs> Trying to sort out an extension. <laughs> Do you want to come in, have a cup of tea? Um, now, I won't impose. I just um, wanted to say that we had a, a package delivered today. Oh, right. Hello. This is Lee from over the road. Oh, hello, I'm Catherine. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, you like in the area? Oh, yeah, we love it. Um, our last place was a bit more central, but Stuart's been wanting to go bigger for a while now. I have, yeah. <laughs> and everyone seems very friendly around here. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's no airs and graces around here. Nobody judges you. <laughs> oh, some of the things I get up to, yeah, make a hooker blush. <laughs> anyway, um, like I was saying, we uh, took in a package today. Oh, <laughs> and here come the kids. Anyone else saying hello? <laughs> Actually, we've got my parents staying. Mum, Dad, come and meet our neighbour. I should probably be going. Uh, I don't want to impose on your private life. <laughs> Family life. <laughs> Who cares about your private life? Not me. <laughs> Shall we take that? Hello. <laughs> hello. You said you'd taken in a package? Yes, I did. And it was for me. Yeah, bloke knocks on the door, said, I've got a package for you, and I took it in. It went really smoothly. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you know that uh, that's what it's like around here. Really good for deliveries. I would highly recommend getting stuff delivered. <laughs> Anything interesting? Just my hubba bubba. <laughs> I mean, hubble bubble. <laughs> you know, the Turkish bong. <laughs> Sorry, kids. No bubble gum today. Well, you can have a blast on my ganja pipe. <laughs> As I say, no one judges you around here. <laughs> Very spacious, these houses, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to meet you guys, say hello, and. Let you know that deliveries round here go really smoothly. <laughs> I should get going. <laughs> this isn't going to suck itself. <laughs> Bye. Happy, Happy anniversary. anniversary. Are we cool, right? If that's the team name suggestion, we've already got one. Quizdeberg. Oh, actually, no, apparently Quizdeberg's already been taken. Oh, goodbye. Oh, I don't know. That lady in red? Well, let's go with Quarit then, whatever that means. Oh, that wasn't a team name suggestion. Quarit is Latin. It means enough people to begin proceedings. And that is why we're going to win with our secret weapon, Toby. Why is Toby the secret weapon? Yeah, what about me? Well, and you as well, of course, Anna. Toby is the secret weapon, but you're more of an obvious weapon, like a... Weapon of mass destruction. <laughs> He's a doctor. Everyone assumes he's the brains in the relationship. It's infuriating. I think you're both equally going to win this for us. Both? What am I? Just the eye candy. <laughs> I always beat him at Trivial Pursuit, you know. Tell her. Tell her what? That I always beat you at Trivial Pursuit. You have literally just told her. I'm sure she remembers. Even without the piercing eyes. <laughs> the two of you are going to be our secret weapon. Can you actually see me? Sorry, yes, and you are also our secret weapon. Like a, I don't know, something unexpected and deadly. Like a silent fart. <laughs> <laughs> I am just as clever as you lot, you know. What, even the great Dr Toby? Oh, I'm sorry if I offended you, Anna. And what about me? Do I get an apology? What for? For calling me thick. I didn't call you thick. You didn't need to call me thick, it's obvious. Do you need me in this conversation? I don't know. Do you need me in this team? Of course. Yes, the Beatles wouldn't have been the Beatles without Ringo. <laughs> oh, get a room. A little library room full of books about Latin. Just the two of you. You'd be a nice little quorum. Quorum. Quorum is the adjective. Quorum is the noun. Oh, f off. And why is it just the two of them, Lee? Why am I not allowed in this library of cleverness? Oh, I see. So you're bothered about your own absence, but mine makes complete sense, does it? Well, go where you like. It's your bloody library. Oh, thank you very much. If you need me, I'll be in the children's section with a copy of Peter and Jane Go to the Beach. I won't be reading it, I'll be licking it. 
<laughs> That's not funny. You said it. <laughs> I'm much cleverer than you, Lucy, you bimbo. I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. Do you not understand English? Toby, could you translate it for it into Latin? Ego malignum. Oh, shot it. <laughs> You're not cleverer than me. Well, let's find out, shall we? Where are you going? To be my own team. Team Lee. Then we'll find out who's the stupid one. Yeah, the person sitting at a table alone on his wedding anniversary. <laughs> it's not a fair contest if it's three against one, Lee. It will be if I join him. Makes sense. The best and the worst against the middle two. And who says you're number one and I'm number two? Oh, I see. So I'm automatically number three, is that it? And yet not a single debate about number four. <laughs> well, I'm certainly not number four. Why? Why can't you be number four? Do you know. <laughs> oh, I see. Right. Well, if I'm definitely number four and I go in number one, it would be a fair contest. Agreed? Agreed. Right. The question is, who do you want on your team, Lee? Who's number one? Oh, what are you waiting for, Toby, you moron? Come on. Sit down. <laughs> that is so rude. I'm number one, and that is why I am going with Thicko. 